everyone so I'm not sure if I did like a proper introduction or a proper closure for this video so I figured I'd just do that now so in today's video I would like to share with you part two of the craft room series pretty much just me working on getting the craft room done going through stuff a lot of it was focusing on going through like my crafting supplies and just trying to get rid of what I know I won't need and um, also moving stuff out of the room that's going to become the spare bedroom, it was previously the craft room, and moving it into the other, um, into the new craft room. So that's pretty much what today's video is going to focus on. And if you're enjoying my craft room videos, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Liking my videos just lets me know if you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. We are so close to 60,000 subscribers, and I would love your help reaching my goal. And if you haven't seen part one of the craft room series, I will link it above so you guys can check it out. I'm having a lot of Fun working on that space it's nice to have more room than in the old craft room so I'm really I'm really excited about that well this is the first piece that I'm going to be working on and making it into a new beautiful piece of furniture so this is going to go in the craft room I'm going to use it for um, organizing different supplies and I actually found this at a garage sale maybe two or three years ago and originally it was black so as you can see it had like a faux wood to it evidently I didn't see that side when I went to paint it I did spray paint it black because black worked with the color scheme in our bathroom so it doesn't really work in our space anymore so now I want to use it in the craft room and I'm going to put a coat of white spray paint on it it's probably going to take several coats this piece is actually made of metal this part right here is metal like the shelves are metal and then over here is also metal um, this right here is plastic but I actually kind of like the detail in it all right so now I'm going to spray paint this white I am so excited gotta use my handy dandy spray paint glove if I can get it on <laughs> So I just wanted to bring you a little closer to see how it looks so far. It's definitely going to need a couple coats, but like, I think it looks so nice in the white. What do you guys think? It's kind of hard because it's in the shadow to see it, but I think it's going to be really pretty. To start the video today, I want to go through the crafting supplies and purge what I don't need and keep what I do need. But before I start that, I'm going to put a second coat of spray paint on a shelf that I'm going to be using in the craft room. I put the first coat of spray paint on a week ago or so and I'm going to do that now since it's still like early it's like nine o'clock in the morning it's still cool outside so I'm going to do that now and then I'm gonna come back in and start going through all the craft supplies so let's get to work I'm outside and I'm working on this piece again it's had the first coat of paint and I need to put a second coat on now because you can see it's kind of like not not totally white up here so all right I'm going to get to work spray painting All right guys, I just finished putting a second coat of paint on that one shelf, so that's drying outside, so that's great. So now I am taking you into a space that is a complete disaster, kind of reminiscent of when I took you guys upstairs before we started renovating the attic. You're gonna get that kind of vibe in this room. So this is the spare bedroom. It, it well, it's becoming the spare bedroom. It is formerly the craft room, craft room YouTube space, and what we're gonna do in here is we are going to go through all of the craft supplies. Before we bring it into the craft room, we're going through it in here and we're going to see if I need it or if I don't need it. Um, I'm nervous to share this space with you guys too. Uh, it just feels so messy, but I know I will get it cleaned up and I know having this crafting space will help me get more of these projects done that I want to do. I know, I know. But that still makes me nervous to show you, so I'm just gonna go for it, turning it around. Here it goes. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Now, in my defense, a lot of this stuff came off of those shelves and I just set it there on the floor. So, in my defense, there's that. Um, I am so excited to get working on this space. So much is gonna happen in this room. This will probably be another whole series as well. But for now, I'm going to just go through everything, take out what I don't need, 
get a pile for a garage sale. All right, I'm going to get to work on this. I'm just gonna go through everything, see what I need, see what I don't need. Hello everyone, I feel like it's sort of an awkward angle, but we'll make it work, right? So I'm just going through this stuff. I already brought over some of like the things that I know I'm going to keep, like some of these containers of thread I brought over already because I know I'm going to keep them because thread doesn't really go out of style. I love these gold baskets. I'm so excited to be bringing these into the new space. I got these at Walmart. They were like $1.98 or maybe $2.15, I can't exactly remember, but I got them a little a uh, few years ago and I really like them. So. Just wanted to make mention of that. I'm just sort of pushing things over that I know I'm going to bring with me. I'm also making a pile of things that I know I'm going to donate or um, try to sell. So Easter eggs, first thing. I never use them. There are probably going to be a lot of things in that sticker um, section that I'm going to donate. I like this, but I think I might paint it. Actually, it was broken. I got it at the store and it was broken. I have to figure out a certain a specific way to organize all of the greenery because I have plenty of it from... Dollar Tree. I think for now I'm just gonna make a pile. All right, so I'm going through this stuff in these bins. You saw a little bit of footage already of me going through um, some of this stuff. And I just, I want to keep all of it, but I know I can't, so I'm bummed. I just wish I could keep it all. Some of it, some of it I know I'm going to keep, and if anything, just for this nostalgia and just like the importance of it. So let me show you an example of that. My aunt gave me these, and they were my grandmother's, and they're literally just like little, like table sprinkle type things, but they're peanuts and I just can't. <laughs> I can't get rid of it, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. But there are some things that I have like a lot of that I just know um, that I'm not gonna be able to keep. Like I have a bunch of these like jewels that I think I'm going to take out of their bag and put in something else, but I don't know. Some of this is just gonna get chucked. Like I don't even know, puffy palms? I must have gotten this at a garage sale, but it has like staining or something on it, so. I'm gonna go through this stuff and hopefully find homes for everything. I'm so excited to be using these bins that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, I got them not too long ago. They're a fairly small size. I'm gonna be using them on this shelf that I that, I'm, that I spray painted today. Um, and I'm just excited because I really like the smaller size. Finley's hair is in everything. I like the smaller size and I think they'll look really nice on that shelf. Um, I do sort of wish they were a different color and they did have other colors. Oh, they have gray. Should I try to go get, no, the white is fine. I'm going to be putting like a label on the front of it um, for what it is. So there'll be a little extra added piece to it. So I'm excited. I've, they've been sitting in my closet forever. So I'm gonna just start going through and organizing some of these little pieces, try to get things cleaned up a bit. I love googly eyes. So much fun. These little bins are so amazing. Ah, it's nice to just be able to see everything that I have now. So many googly eyes. I have all of these gems that I got at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna pour them into this bucket. I'm really excited about it. All right, here we go. Ready? Here we go. And then clear and red. I'll put in the clear next. Oops. So pretty.
that's it for part two of the craft room series. I hope that you guys are enjoying seeing everything that I've been working on. I'm having a lot of fun organizing everything. I am excited for it to be done, but I'm really enjoying the process as well. So let me know in the comments if you guys are enjoying these videos and let me know what your favorite parts are. If you have any suggestions about what you would like to see specifically with my craft room setup, uh, leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at Thrift Living Page. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!